You know, when everyone kept on calling us sailors, I don't think this is what they meant. I kind of like it though. I dig it. It's not bad. Anyways, happy Halloween everyone. Today, we're at Six Flags over Texas. I haven't been here in like four years. Sarah's never been here. And even though it is very crowded, we're excited to ride some roller coasters, especially get back on some favorites like New Texas Giant. Uh, Titan is also very popular here and they have Mr. Freeze. It's gonna be good. What are you most looking forward to? Oh, New Texas Giant. New Texas Giant. I'm yeah. an RMC stand, what can I say? There we go. All right. <laughs> Let's head over to New Texas Giant, start off our day. Bit of a line for New Texas Giant. We're starting all the way back here. I've never really waited for this thing, so I have no concept of how long this line actually is. We're about to find out. Mm -hmm. So fun fact, while we're waiting in line, the train here at Six Flags Over Texas has not operated for a while, but this weekend it is back in operation. We've watched it go by a couple times, which is super exciting. I now like actually really want to ride the train now. Plus I'm sure it gives great views of New Texas Giant. They have pouches on here, and uh, apparently this is what cell phones look like these days. First ride in the back row, New Texas Giant. Should we wear the hats on the ride? Um, I stay? definitely feel I like they're gonna go fly down. off. <laughs> We just got off of New Texas Giant for the first time. That was great. I feel like you guys kind of talked it down a little bit and I thought that was a phenomenal ride. Okay. Phenomenal uh, Scott, ride. you said it was better than you remember. Oh yeah, that was, I was very underwhelmed the first time I rode it, but it was also freezing cold and it was just crawling. Uh, this time it was, uh, had some energy to it and yeah. I, it's definitely moving up on my list. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm great. like trying to mentally rank all my RMCs now. <laughs> Ask me at the end of the vlog and I'll have it ready. There we go. <laughs> Look at that thing going around. So they're currently cycling it empty. Uh, Six Flags does a thing where every half hour they sanitize the vehicles. They have this sprayer that they use to quickly uh, get all the vehicles clean and then they just cycle it so it can dry. It's not a coincidence so, that they did it right after you got Yeah, off. they did it right after we rode. <laughs> so, Anyway, so uh, we were able to get on actually I'd say probably less than an hour, which was uh, kind of nice actually. One of the things that you also got to keep in mind with New Texas Giant is because it was RMC's first ever creation, I mean the fact that they are able to come up with the ride, first of all, that big, second of all, that good, is very impressive. I mean it's a fantastic ride. Does it stack up to the current RMCs that, and the layouts that we're seeing nowadays? I mean, yes and no. Uh, the elements aren't as whippy, maybe not quite as fast paced, but hey, it's a long ride. It still has some great airtime moments, and so you could really see. Hey! Did that not scare you at all? No. <laughs> Big yikes! The line is currently spilling out onto the midway. That's how long it is. Here's something I'm not a fan of. They covered up the New Texas Giant sign with some Halloween theming. I mean, you can sort of see it's back there, but you don't get to see the iconic New Texas Giant logo. So Sarah put a poll up on her Instagram and Twitter. Sarah, what did you do? I asked the world if you should buy me a funnel cake because backstory i did a never have i ever theme park edition on twitter and you confess that you have never purchased a funnel cake i have never i've You've had eaten one, right? i have okay. had funnel cake don't freak out too much here so, but uh they were they, you know someone else bought one but i never buy funnel cakes they're, they're never a go-to for me so we figured that a good first time to buy a funnel cake would be for me on halloween in these beautiful costumes Luckily, as a Six Flags Platinum uh, membership, <laughs> yeah, um, I it. have a, uh, first of all, I have a discount, but also I have a snack <laughs> option. So I'm pretty sure funnel cake is on the snack. So I, I still it? will not have bought it. <laughs> Dude, they're letting the employees dress up for Halloween. This dude's dressed up as a banana. I love that. What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken sailor? What would you do with a drunken sailor? I don't know the last line. <laughs> Before it gets dark, we decided to do the oil derrick because it's actually open and we want to be able to get some shots up from the top. Uh, something interesting. So when we went to Kings Island, uh, up their Eiffel Tower this year, they are doing one group at a time going up to the top. Here, I think it's going to be done by number of people as opposed to number of groups. So logically, you should be able to get in more than one group at a time up the elevator.
This is the best view we've gotten of Aquaman Power Wave. Looks like they have not done anything to it in months. Earlier we saw some grass or miniature tree or something that was grown through the tracks. It's kind of sad. One thing we were talking about though is that this is so close to pandemonium in the pathway that that splash and just the water is going to go everywhere. It'll be interesting to see what happens. So, we have some new recruits for the mine. I'd like to wish you all the best of luck, but sometimes not everything goes according to plan. Like for my daily departed brother Stewie, who accidentally fell in the shaft. Or did he? We just spotted acclaimed ace member and host of Ride With Us podcast with American Coast enthusiast, Chris Roberry. Let's sneak up on him. <laughs> Hello! What's up, guys? <laughs> Okay, this hill right there, that moment in the back row was absolutely insane. Also, it doesn't stop there. That hill in the back row is even crazier. That was the best ride I've ever had on this. He showed me how to ride it and it was it made it. That was so much better than I remember. 42 years old and it's still kicks. This is now like my favorite airtime in the park are those two moments right there. Yeah, I'm sorry if I ever trashed this ride. I think I like it better than mine better over Georgia now. Like that was so sweet. I want to ride again. Sarah, Sarah, it is October 31st. You can't start celebrating Christmas until tomorrow, November 1st. Okay, so I'll Put just the take fake some snow of down. With me. No, don't take some of it with you. <laughs> Stop. Guys, look, it's the Mr. Beast coaster. Anyone want to win like $20,000? All right, Chris, tell us what we're doing here in the back row of Mind Drain. So it's the super secret, but now it's not a secret because you all are finding <laughs> out about it. There is ejector RMC air on the original Aero Mind Drain. Oh. I kid you not, wait until after. We're just going to make a jump cut in about three seconds and then see what happens. So Taylor, what do you think? Okay, that was actually pretty surprising. Right? I, I was impressed. I mean, I don't yeah. think Scott or I remembered this ride at all. No, and not obviously at all. Sarah's now not ridden it. Yeah. That was better than I remember. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, it's kinda of going along. I mean like theming is great, you know, easy rides, get the old school aero transitions and then I BAM! Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, so they have the last uh, lift till like right when you get to stop encased in fog. And Chris is like, this is the best part. You're looking through fog, you can't even tell what is about to happen. And then you just pop and it kind of hurt, but it was fun. After about an hour of waiting for Mr. Freeze, we're finally in the station, about to ride. It's actually freezing in here. It's Sarah, very well themed. You are such a Florida girl. It is not even cold. I'm wearing short sleeves and I'm fine. That thing right there is so freaking good. Oh my gosh, I forgot how much I love Mr. Freeze clones. Sarah. Where's your hat? Where is my hat? Oh, it's in my bag. <laughs> We've been taking off the hats on the rides because we're afraid that they'd fly off and then become loose articles. It's in my bag, I'll put it back on. But it wasn't so good. Yeah, that was incredible. <laughs> there was like a point in time where I'm like, are we looking up at the sky or down at the ground? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I I love them. They're so intense, so fast paced, amazing. Scott, just as good as you remember? Oh, just as good as I remember. These guys are so out of control, so powerful. It just gives you no time to realize it's going straight up backwards. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah, old school. So oh yeah, oh yeah. Ride. Old school premier rides, launch coasters. There's nothing like them. It's amazing. Oh. Launch what? Launch ro rollers. <laughs> Here's the only new credit I'll be getting this entire trip. It is Joker at Six Flags Over Texas. To your left, you will see Harley Quinn Spin Sanity, which is one of only two currently in America. I got to do Cyborg at Six Flags Great Adventure. And I thought it was super mediocre, so I won't be doing this one. Certainly looks cool. Here we are about to do another SNS 4D free spin. We just did a quick ride on Justice League and yeah, there were some effects that weren't working and it was kind of sad. Um, definitely not in the best condition. One of the biggest problems, I would say, not that Chris, I mean, totally destroyed us or anything, but uh, there wasn't any music on, so there were just some scenes where it was just quiet. It was really, it was really quiet. <laughs> it was weird, because it goes like from the screen 
rooms to then the practical scenes and then there'd just be nothing. You're like turning and then it's just silence and we're like, this is weird. It's kind of cool, I guess. You heard, you heard the ride vehicle move. Yeah, it That's just, about it. if anything, it shows you how powerful music is. You never really notice it until it's gone. Yep. How was it, Wonder Woman? Wonderful bad. Wow. Uh, like real bad. Yeah, you did really, really bad. Wait, well, you got what, 400 something? 400,000. He yes. got twice That's... as much as the next highest score. That's not anything. I've got one of the bloggers here at Over Texas uh, got over a million. That's he absurd. Topped it over nine, 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 nine. I don't even know how oh, that's possible. Oh, you were Sore second worst. I was not. No, you were. Was I? Yeah, oh, you maybe were. I was. It's so loud over here, but look, they have a ride graveyard. Look, they have all these dead dudes riding in this dead ride. And look, there's a bunch of arrow wheels. Look, and there's pieces of chain. That's so sweet. Why don't more parks be like this? I mean, I remember Six Flags Great America doing something similar for their Fright Fest and thinking it was awesome. I mean, I love this kind of thing. This is, this is great. Look at all this. Popular opinion, Titan better than Millennium Force. Whoa! At least how Millennium Force has been agree. running this year. Interesting. Unpopular opinion. Okay, I'll say it was better than I remembered. I like it more than Goliath the Magic Man. Uh, I mean, the helixes are, are intense, they're powerful. Even though the mid course it just stops, you know, at a complete halt, it picks up its speed quite quickly after that, and that was impressive. Uh, it's still not my favorite. It's never been my favorite, but better than Millennium Force. I don't know if I agree with that. Got more airtime for sure. Yeah. I also don't <laughs> think I agree with that. Year. Okay. All right. Maybe. Maybe. It, it wasn't was running rough. the best it was this year. Rough when we yeah. Too. All right. It's slow. It's like losing. We'll see. Well, we got time for one more ride or a funnel cake. One more roll. What's it gonna us. be? Thank you. I love how we're recording each other. <laughs> You're welcome. It's not a funnel cake, but it's good enough. We ride new tickets right now. We just got off of the last ride of the night on Halloween on New Texas Giant and it was flying. Chris, you said it's been several months since you've ridden this and how was it? It was awesome. I just it was hauling butt, it was moving incredibly quick. And it was all in the dark, so it just felt even faster than Absolutely. it usually does. Absolutely. Oh, by the way, we're in the front seat, which on Giant has like some pretty incredible air. Yeah, time. I was very impressed at some of those hills because we did the back row earlier, and so now to do the front, uh, it was it was great. I mean, this is one of those rides that you know it, it doesn't get talked about enough. It's great, guys. It really is awesome. Stop so, hating on Texas stop Giant. Stop hating on Texas Giant. Gosh. <laughs> Well, I told you I had never purchased a funnel cake, and guys, I am pleased to announce I still have never purchased a funnel cake. I thought you were about to lie and be like, I bought her this funnel cake. No, I'm like, I Sarah for this. bought it herself because I refused to. Oh you God. did get me a churro. I did get you a churro. But this was like. But you wanted more, and so here we are eating a funnel cake. Well, I'm not. Potentially you, one you of are. two. Yeah, we'll two see. Fun you're, you're gonna get a second one, seriously? Or oh. five dollars. Mm. I'm talking with my mouth full on camera. <laughs> Wow. All right, so that's it. That's it for our Halloween edition of Six Flags Over Texas. <laughs> it was a great time. I mean, busy, but we all had fun. Yeah. Yes. Lines weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. Honestly, yeah. I can agree with really that. Well. Yep. Good yeah. food, too. Good, yeah, food, good food, good food, yeah. yep. Yeah. And, uh, you know, operations, pretty solid. Uh, yeah. They had all their trains on, and they were getting those dispatches out. So, yeah, we didn't have to wait too long, and we were in good company. It's always good to see Chris. Great to glad see you guys. we were able Thank to. You so much for coming out. Yeah, we were glad that we could meet up with you. Uh, it was fun to dress like sailors. <laughs> some of us. Some of us are still dressed yeah. like sailors. <laughs> I, put, I put my hat in my bag. <laughs> sure you did. I'm yeah. sorry. Come sail away. Come, Come sail, sail away. away. Come sail away with me. <laughs> Just so everyone else can leave. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Scott. No, nope. he has the keys to the car. He has to come. <laughs> All right. We're gonna go. Hey, hey. We're, all right. We're gonna go ahead and uh, head to our hotel for the night. We're gonna be back here uh, tomorrow. We probably won't be doing a vlog, but we're gonna be shooting some fun footage, and it's gonna be a good time. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to stay tuned for more content here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next Happy time. Happy Halloween!